Girls of Reddit what is it like to be horny from a girl's perspective? A heat flows down there. My clit tingles. And. Bear with me now. I feel empty. It's hard to describe. But my vagina physically feels empty. Like it needs to be filled with something. That is really interesting to hear. Because it is the exact opposite of what I feel as a man. I kind of just feel like I need to put that thing somewhere. It really tells you how perfect human s or biology really is. You know the feeling you get in your chest when you drink something warm on a cold day? I feel like that. But in my pelvis. This is pretty damn accurate too. Am I the only chick here who doesn't like the it analogy? That sounds gross. To me. It's more like this achy. Throbbing desire for pressure on the outside parts. And the feeling of needing something in me to grip on. Damn it. Now I'm horny. Yeah I don't get the itch. But need to be filled. And suddenly my mind is filled with fantasies about the guy I'm horny for. Guys, that first insertion and the girl makes an OMG face. That isn't fake. That is for real OMG yes finally I am being filled face. I saw this thread and thought I was born for this because I have the biggest SX drive of anyone I know but then I realized I didn't have anything interesting to say that hadn't already been said. Clit gets bigger. Feels more sensitive. And warmth from the rush of blood. Sometimes I can feel my pulse through my vagina which is cool. I also wanna take this time to debunk the myth that girls are never as horny as guys or whatever. They are. I'm a huge pervert. I would spend entire days in school and church, when my parents forced me to go, thinking about SX non-stop. Whenever I could really. In the car. Trying to find ways to subtly get off. School bathrooms. It was really bad. I've come 20 plus times in one sitting before. Much more controllable since puberty but still worse than anyone I know. Not sure why but I really wanna get this through to people. So I start off just getting a little bit flushed. I feel mildly hotter all over my body and I start to get really aware of how soft my skin feels. A mild touch of my hand on my thigh might send me shivering. I often rub my thighs together if I'm in public to alleviate the need to move. But it pretty much ends up with me getting hotter. I can feel myself start to throb and my breathing starts to fluctuate. Then the thoughts start coming. Every hot situation you've been in. All the guys you thought were cute. And all the fantasies you've been having lately. I often find myself thinking about a fantasy and have to abruptly stop or I'll get really frantic with the need to have sx. Something that always happens is the need to be filled. I can't describe it but I just feel empty and want something in me. Sliding. Even if you take care of yourself you can still feel the echoing throb. The clenching of your muscles wanting to pull something inside of you. Yeah also you get really wet. It's probably not the best idea to read the comments while I'm at work. Feeling a bit hum. Tingly and wet. When you want to touch yourself but can't because you're in class is the worst. Rubbing your thighs together just give you a tiny pleasurable sensation. It's kinda like hey. I kinda wanna have sx. Then after a while it's like yeah. A penis around here would be pretty great. Then a while later it's like that dude probably fcks really good. I want to fck him. Then finally for the love of all that is holy. Sup. You know the feeling like you're going over a hill and you get that swoosh feeling in your stomach? It's like that but in my pants. 5 hours from now. Guys of Reddit. What's it like to have a boner? It's pretty cool edit. Whoa. Never thought my first gold would come from a dick joke. But thank you kind stranger. It's like the dick gets bigger so yeah. It's pretty cool. Unless. You're in the middle of a job interview. You're about to give a presentation. You're at a funeral. You're witnessing the birth of your children. You've been told you have stage 4 colon cancer. You're at the doctors in general, unless it's for ED. In which case. Well done. Close bracket. You're teaching a class. You're proposing to your girl boyfriend. You're on public transport. 
You're trying to convince your so to get back with you. You're in public. You're by yourself but don't know what to do with it. You're having an argument. You're having an argument about your penis. You're having an argument about always having an erection. You're not having sex or masturbating. You're not wearing anything that it can be tucked into. You're on Skype to your parents. You've just got to first base and he or she notices. You're a clown. Edit. Sometimes I have so many other symptoms going on that I don't even realize it's horniness. I get very antsy. I just want to go on an adventure. I want to eat good food. Drive fast. Do something exciting. Then when I finally have sx I'm like. Oh that's all I needed. And I can finally relax. Well. Seeing as I'm currently experiencing it now. I'll try to explain. I'm sure every girl is different though. It starts as a really warm tingle across my entire pelvis. Everything becomes hypersensitive. Any touch across the back of my neck or stomach will make me groan and shiver. I want to be touched. Caressed. Spanked. And licked all over my body. The hornier I get. The more the tingle changes into an ache. I want something in me and I want it now. By this stage. I'm just soaked. I love to be teased. Tease me and I'll absolutely beg to get f -ked. It's the most frustrating. Rousing. Hot feeling ever. And the moment when he first slides inside you with no resistance because you're just so wet. MMMH. Looks like I came too early yet again. Happens to lots of guys. I do kegels through it. It sucks because you can use toys or items to help it a little but usually at least in my case it's a constant one to just well get f -ked. It's like something just clicks when you're near someone attractive and all you can think about is them naked on top of you thrusting. Okay it's like this. You're a little hungry. And there's this burger joint right down the street. Not a shtty McDonald's or something goss of this high end classy burger joint where everything tastes like heaven. You're not hungry hungry. Just enough to notice it. But when you do you start thinking about that burger place. And it make you hungrier. And you start to feel that emptiness in your belly. And you're like man. I could go for a burger. So either a. You go get your burger and it feels so juicy and good and you feel full and happy afterwards and you get all fat and lazy or b. You ignore it eat something else and it's okay but it's not nearly as satisfying. Mostly. For me. Anyway, horny is about scratching that itch and getting that fullness and satisfaction and all the happy hormones. Turned on is a whole different thing altogether and requires intimacy or mental stimulation. Great. Women can even complicate being horny. Come on use a name. Don't let me down here. It almost feels like a pressure above the clitoris. I don't really feel any tingling. But I can feel how sensitive I am by walking or even sitting a certain way. Eventually. If there is no penis wandering around. I am able to take care of myself 3-4 times. I don't know how to describe it from memory. Not horny right now. I guess I get pretty sensitive down there and have the urge to hump rub against anything. Not the butterflies for me. But that urge to hump rub against anything stick something inside of me. Yup. www.prunhub.com Since I know you're headed there next. I'll save you the trouble. So. If I learned anything from this thread. It's that I should look for squirming women who look anxious. Obviously followed by a tip of my fedora. Right? This is just gonna lead to you bothering women who need to pee. Better question. Are you ever horny enough to fck a guy you wouldn't normally fck? Like. If a cute guy makes you horny. But he leaves before you can do anything. And a non-cute guy is there and you're still horny. Would you fck the non-cute guy just to get some? Because that's how horny guys get. Women of Reddit help mem stir but pls thanks. It's like an itch that's impossible to scratch. It starts with my clit feeling itchy. Like it needs a thumb or a tongue or a dick on it. Then the sensation builds and builds to where I must. Have. Clit. Scratching. 
it's more a void to be filled than anything else. And once that void is filled, I want more. I want to be FK'd. And flipped over. And ridden hard. I want to be used. I want to be violated in the most FK'd up ways possible. And then, after everything comes galloping to an org smick end, I just want to be cuddled. Hugged and felt safe and warm and that's all. Maybe have my back scratched. In exchange for back scratching. My nails aren't long. But they're scratchy. I want a man who appreciates that. Do females rub one out and then have the same how did I get here? Thought process in their refractory period? Pretty much. Yes. And also intense feelings of confusion and or shame about the PRN I've been looking at. Not a girl but my friend's brother's dog's vet's second cousin is a girl and... It's almost like a shock at first. And your lady parts get all warm and it's almost like you can feel your heart beat between your legs. Your face gets flushed and the warmth gets more intense. You get all squirmy. You just want this desire to be filled. A little bit like when you have to pee really bad and you know the bathroom is right down the hall. Eventually it's all you can think about and you just want a dude, or lady, if that's your thing, to get down in there. It's a pretty great feeling. And unlike a boner, it's pretty hard for people to tell when you're turned on.